Today is the official end to hurricane season here in Texas. So this year on the hurricane gear test, meteorologist John Dawson reviewed many products that you could consider for your hurricane supplies. But today he wraps up the season with a recap of the basic requirements of a hurricane kit. Let's start off with a reminder. The off season is the best time to research and buy supplies. Over the last six months, I've tried to show you some new products or give some fresh ideas for those classic preparedness items as I've tested and then rated them on my hurricane kit priority scale. And on today's hurricane gear test, I want to end the season by reminding you of the five basic things you should have in your hurricane plans. These products represent a starting point or a foundation for building an emergency kit. And while everyone's needs will be different when it comes to hurricane preparedness, I think there are five universal categories to cover. You have to start, of course, with food and water. You should expect the power to go out, so you need a good light source like a flashlight or a lantern, and also an easy way to charge your cell phone. And some of us have even more power needs as well. And finally, don't forget a well-stocked first aid kit. I did not actually review heater meals this hurricane season, but they changed their packaging over the summer, so they may look different, but they remain my favorite food option. Make sure you research the shelf life of any food you purchase and what is needed in its preparation. These meals ready to eat basically require nothing and can store from two to five years. LifeStraw has been around for almost 20 years with their personal water filter, but this season I reviewed their new Peak Series Gravity Purifier. It's a better choice for a group or family, and not only does it remove 99.999% of bacteria and parasites, it will also eliminate viruses. There's no pumping or batteries required. Now this flashlight is way more than you need for a hurricane kit, but the Ace Beam X75 was fun to review, partly because it's waterproof and partly because 80,000 lumens is a ridiculous output of light. It is rechargeable, which is something you should consider for your light, and it can also function as a power source charging devices with a USB-C connection. And speaking of charging devices, the Anchor Powerhouse 555 is a large power station. It'll provide electricity to power a lot more than just your phone, but the size and weight make it manageable if you need to evacuate and want to take it along. I like that it has a lot of different outputs, including both USB-A and USB-C. And think about also purchasing some compatible solar panels and you'll have yourself a solar generator. Now, I don't usually get excited about first aid kits, but I've learned that the MyMedic brand really wins me over with their exceptional organization. Their MyFAC is designed for two to three people and includes specific things I look for, like scissors, a cold pack, and an eye wash solution that can also be used to clean out a wound. This was an easy Cat 5 when I reviewed it this summer. I reviewed over 20 products this season and gave them all a rating on my Hurricane Kit Priority Scale. My YouTube channel and the weather page of Fox26Houston.com has them all well organized and easy to view. So look me up and leave me a comment if you think I missed something. On YouTube, search Meteorologist John Dawson.